Hey everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to explore how to connect Streamlit, a powerful Python library for building interactive web applications to a SAM MySQL database. By the end of this video, you will be able to create dynamic Streamlit applications that interact with your MySQL database. So let's get started. Note that this is the third part where we only connect the database with Streamlit. Make sure that you have watched the other two parts before watching this video. The links will be given in the description. The first step is to create a new file in the main folder as secrets.toml. In this file, you should specify the host name, port address, database name, username, and password of your SAM. I will fill everything with the default value. Right now, I am not going to give any specific database name because I already have a database name in my SAM server. So I will check that name and give that name here. The username will be root as default and the password will be nothing. After that, go to SAM and start your server. After turning on your server, go to the admin panel of your MySQL which is PHP my admin and after loading this you should check your database here I already created a database uh, JU college management system and I am using the table login or users here I am using the table users which already have the value username and password if you don't have any table or database create one database and create a table before connecting your database so here we will replace with our database. The next step is to install the Python database connector, which we will done through terminal. For that, use the command pip install mysql hyphen connector hyphen Python. And hit enter. This will install the library package which is required to connect your MySQL database with Streamlit. Here we can see that we have successfully installed MySQL connector of version 8.0.32. After successful installation of the package, we now need to create a new text file which is requirements.txt which describes the version of the MySQL connector. Here we are going to make the Python understand that we are using MySQL connector and it's the version 8.0.32. Now our connection is ready. Then you need to add the code to connect this streamlit application with your mysql database for that go to main page or any other page and we want the code for mysql connection for the connection code let's go to the streamlit website there they are providing the default connection code for your streamlit website to the mysql so this is the code don't worry this website link will be in the description or the file I will attach in the description. You can directly download and open the file. So we have pasted the connection code in the main page and we just need to edit the default query what they have given. So we will edit the query with the table which we have which is users table which we are using and we are going to print the name. For that, we will use select name from users, which is a SQL query. Let's add ID too. So we can see the ID and name. 
and everything works fine now we need to run this streamlit code for that use this code streamlit run file name dot py here we can see our streamlit page and there is some error in the default code which the streamlit website itself providing so we need to adjust little things in the default code which streamlit is providing the error is due to the 6th and 14th line of this code so we don't need this line just remove these two lines now we will execute the code and that's it our code runs successfully we can see the id and name which is fetched from the mysql database from the sam server and which is printed in the streamlit application we now have the power to build incredible web applications that interact with the data in real time feel free to explore further and experiment with the different queries and streamlit components to enhance your applications thank you for joining us in this tutorial on connecting streamlit to sam mysql database we hope you found this helpful and informative if you enjoyed this video please like comment and subscribe to our channel for exciting content as always, happy coding!